Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation because I finally managed to get hold of it the other day. And you might notice that I'm in a slightly different place to normal, but basically, I tried to start filming this morning, then my studio light, like the bulb blue or whatever you want to call it, and then I switched it to get it out and it exploded everywhere. So I've ordered one of them, which is supposed to be coming before 1pm tomorrow. The delivery actually cost me more than the bulb did, which is slightly annoying, but you need one, so what can you do? Um, so yeah, I've made this makeshift background in a different room because at this time of year I don't get any sunlight in my room whatsoever. So I come to the front of the house and then put like a blanket over the wardrobes and dangle some fairy lights and hopefully it kind of looks okay-ish. But yeah, there is a bit of a storm today, so the sun keeps coming in and out, and then it keeps raining, and it's really windy, so the light might change quite a lot, like the sun's coming out now, but there's not much I can do about that. So yeah, I am going to be testing out this foundation today, so without further ado, let's jump straight on into the video. Okay, so I managed to get hold of this foundation on, I think it was Tuesday. I've been looking for it for about two, three weeks, maybe. Um, and this is the first time I've seen it in stock in any colours. I got it from the Trafford Centre. So it starts in F1 and I think it went to about F18 or something like that. And it's supposed to correspond with the concealers. So in the concealer and the shade C2. And then in the stick foundation I got F3. Now they had F2 or F4 and F2 was way too light. So I went for F4 which as you can probably tell is slightly too dark. But hopefully we can make this work. So this foundation costs £9.00. And it comes in like a frosted glass packaging and then it's the exact same colour and everything as what the concealer is and then all the writing is the same it's just a much bigger version obviously so it is actually a bit like the Tarte Shape Tape foundation because it comes with this big like doe fat applicator which on my L'Oreal foundation I really like because you can get exactly how much you want of it so that is really good. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put primer all over my face like I normally would. And then I'm going to put the pore professional just on one half of my face because I like my pores really come through on foundation. And I found recently when I wear the pore professional, you can't actually see them. So I'm going to see how this is on its own and then with the pore professional. And then I'll probably keep you updated throughout the day of like how it's staying on, if it's creased, if it's oxidised, whatever. So yeah, that is what I am going to do. So as always, I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay Urban Defence Complexion Primer. So yeah, for today's video, I was actually originally supposed to be filming the haul because I bought stuff at the end of August and it's now like the last week of September and I still haven't had time to film a haul. So I was like, you know what, today I'm going to do it. And then my pop decided to go out to so filming this instead now. So obviously that is primer on my face. So I'm going to like show you on the back of my hand what the shade is like so as you can see actually on my hand there it doesn't look too dark but then it's like when i blended it in and come outside of the shop's lighting you can kind of see it is a bit too dark but hopefully like if my whole hand was that color it would look okay ish and um, so yeah you get 23 ml of product in here which is slightly less than normal foundations i'm pretty sure you normally get about 30 ml so yeah but it might last longer because obviously you just take in how much that you need but i'm gonna put the professional on the left side of my face just like on the sides of my nose and my cheek half of my chin and then just this front bit of my forehead here now i'm gonna see how the actual foundation performs so what I'm going to do is put this like in lines, that doesn't look too dark, around my face in the same way that I would with my L'Oreal one. It doesn't actually get that much product on the applicator, it's something I'm noticing and it kind of drips if you're not very careful with it. So hopefully that will be enough. And then I'm just going to take my usual Real Techniques toothbrush brush. I don't know what they're called, like a blending brush. So the colour doesn't seem too bad at the moment in natural daylight, for sure. 
and it's blending out really easily it's not like dried in too quickly or anything it actually seems fairly pale maybe it'll oxidize so i'm gonna just do what i'd always do and get my beauty blender and just go over the top of everything to check that it's all like there's not too much product in one area or anything okay so that is me finished with blending that foundation in and it has actually turned out really really nice at the moment here where my skin is slightly dry you can kind of see it's cling but I mean every single foundation I actually own does that so that's not much different but apart from that it's giving like a really smooth base so I've just brought you in slightly so you can kind of see it a little bit more what it looks like and um, it's not like gathered around my nose or anything yet it's just this little area here apart from that it is looking pretty decent at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is put the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer on my chin, Tizo, and that's it, unless I've got any spots. And then I'll put the Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes, like what I would normally do anyway. You can actually see how much lighter C2 is now that I've put that on the top. But then it turns into a highlighting concealer, so that's good too. Okay, so that concealer is a little bit too light to go with that foundation. My chin literally looks like it's glowing. Under my eyes it has looked fab because obviously you highlight under your eyes, but not so much there. I'm a bit worried for how light this is going to go because the Tarte Shape Tape is in the shade Fair Neutral and it's like pale on my actual just skin alone, but it is slightly more yellow tone. That has turned out so, so nice. Okay, so the time is currently 10.17. I literally feel like I'm filming the sofa just nails like 24 hour testing video saying that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. So then we'll see what it's like in about 15 minutes time. And then I will basically keep you updated throughout the day and before I take it off with what it is looking like. Okay, so I've just finished doing the rest of my makeup and it's now just gone 25 past 10 so it's about 15 minutes later ish i think i can't remember what time it was and so yeah the foundation is still looking pretty much perfect as it was a few minutes ago which i would expect it's not only really got like any darker or anything it, i think this is actually maybe like a decent color match it's a bit quite a bit darker than my neck but i mean it's nothing noticeable so that's fine um but yeah it is looking pretty much perfect and this is what it looks like in really bright sunlight and i can't actually see anymore but yeah it's a few hours later now it has just gone at 12 o'clock um so i'm gonna do like my next update so basically it looks pretty much the same like it i can't really tell the difference where i put the professional and where i haven't which is really weird but it's not kind of come through. I'm going to go out now though, so we'll see if that like makes a difference being in the wind and rain and everything. The other thing is, all the lines, like when I do this in my forehead, it's kind of like sunk into them a bit, which not many foundations do. But it's not like oily or anything, but, well, to be honest, no foundations go oily on my skin because my skin is just so dry. But yeah, up to now, it is looking good. And the colour match, it's not like oxidised or anything, so it's still okay. So I just thought I'd do my next update now on the foundation. And um, for some reason it's like come off around my eyebrow here and my eyebrow there. I don't think that's because it was raining before and it's what outside a what. But yeah, um apart from that, like it's not really clung to my pores or anything. I can't say the pore professional side actually looks any different than this side, to be honest. Um yeah i like the color and everything like that it's just literally where it's come off around my eyebrows which i don't understand but it is now like almost four o'clock so it's been on pretty much six hours so i mean it's doing well it's just this bit here maybe that's because i keep touching my face or something without noticing i don't know so it is just about seven o'clock now so i'm gonna do one last update just before it goes dark because the sun is starting to set and then I'll do one like before I take it off. Obviously it won't be natural daylight. And so I'll wait to do one now. There's kind of like patches on my nose. But there where it's come off a bit. Um, and yeah. And it's separated a bit on my pores. But apart from that. It still looks pretty even like to look at on camera. Looks fine. My 
concealer looks really pale under my eyes yeah apart from that it stood up pretty well because I went on for like eight nine hours so yeah so now that it is like 9 p.m i thought i would just do one final update before i do take makeup off because there's no need for to keep it on yes i do still have my coat on i've literally had that on since i pretty much started this video but it's suddenly gone so cold recently that it's too cold to take off basically so i'm just gonna use my phone's torch for like light because it's really orange in here so yeah i mean it does look a lot whiter now obviously with this flashlight let me see if i can that will do uh which pretty much same as it was at seven it is still most definitely on my skin now i don't know if you'll be able to see this but it's like started to separate on my nose a bit and i'll come off but i mean it has been on for 11 hours and it isn't a day foundation at all so i can't blame it for doing that so yeah i'd say this is a really good foundation i definitely give it a thumbs up like a 9 out of 10 sort of it will definitely be something i use again in future probably won't recommend it if you've got oily skin because i feel like it just like where it's separated on my eyebrows which uh, they're only really oily but they're not as dry i feel like if you had oily skin it just separate into clumps whereas if it's dry it just kind of clings more and um, obviously it didn't the poor professional made no difference so it doesn't matter about your base so much so yeah if you did enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and hopefully i will be back next friday at 4 30 with a brand new video with my studio light because i ordered it for like to come by 1 pm tomorrow so hopefully it will actually arrive but i don't know if a video is going to go up before this so this might be afterwards and it might be completely relevant now bye